So, the animal hybrid, what you are given is you are given these two assets. We got a bird in one layer and we have a dog in the background layer, all right? Now what we're supposed to do, the uh, finished product is you're supposed to take these assets and make them one animal and make it look real. So that's what we're gonna do right here. We have what we need. Now, the essence of making a head swap or an animal hybrid is your selection. So what we're doing basically is just taking a selection of this bird and putting it on top of the dog's body, okay? Now, selection, we got our rectangular marquee select tool. We can drag a marquee over the bird head, command cut, okay? Um, that's not very exact, of course. We can take the elliptical marquee tool, make a selection, cut. We don't want that either. We can use the polygonal lasso tool, which works click, 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 click until you bring it back to the beginning. Then we have another selection. That'll work too. There's also something called the quick selection tool, which you can basically drag over something. The thing is, it's just not that very reliable when you're trying to get a nice tight selection. But it kind of works for this pretty much, except for the edge. If we take the edge and then just paste it, that's actually pretty good. Um, but you can use that one. Or what I like to do is I just like to make a broad selection and then erase around it. Now, for the sake of time, I'm probably just going to use the quick selection tool, but I'm going to show you both. If I erase around it, basically what I'm doing is I'm making a big selection of the bird head of whatever, whatever I need. And I will copy that and I will paste it. I'll then move that new paste over where it needs to be. Now in my example, it needs to be facing left. So I'm gonna flip it, okay? Now to free transform or transform anything in Photoshop, you do Command T, or if you can't remember that, it's Edit, Transform, Free Transform. Command T, right there, all right? Now, if you're a caveman about it, I can do Command T, and then hold down the shift key and flip it that way. Okay, but then you have to eyeball the proportions and all that. What I like to do is go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. So pretty much right now, I move it in place. I pretty much have what I need. If I wanna make this smaller, which I need to do, I'll do command T for free transform. I'll hold down the shift key to maintain proportions. Actually, I think in 2021, you don't have to hold down the shift key, so I won't do that. I'll just go to the corner and resize it, hit enter. Now, as you can see here, we're pretty much done. We just kind of need to basically blend it. Now, what I'm gonna do here, you saw me use the quick selection tool, which worked pretty good, <coughs> but you're not gonna be able to do that all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the eraser tool and if you're paying attention to the other tutorials, you'll know that the brush tool, the eraser tool, all brush sizes and shapes and hardness are up here in the left hand corner. So what I'm going to do is take an appropriate size brush and maybe shape it a certain way. And I'm going to bring the hardness all the way down to zero so it's soft because we got feathers here. What I'll do is I'll just basically kind of make, I'll erase around it. We were missing some feathers from that quick selection tool, but we can kind of kind of keep them with the eraser tool. You don't have to be exact. Once you have enough erased, you can come over here, take the lasso tool, another selection tool, and basically just grab a chunk, hit delete. And remember guys, command D, D selects. Here's another selection tool as long as I'm at it. I'm going to take the magic wand tool, which works on pixel color. So this is kind of a gradient. We got some light gray right here to some dark gray. So it's not going to really work that well, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. I click right here and it selects all of that gray. I'll go ahead and delete it. I'll hit command D. Uh, it's a little bit rough, but we can work with it. I'll take the eraser tool again. It's got a soft edge. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit harder. And I'll just go ahead and match the softness 
to the rest of our selection. There we go. I also saw some artifacts there from the, re from the first time I erased. So I'll continue along with my selection. I'll try that magic wand tool again. That eh, looks pretty good. Let's keep it. Command D. I'll go back over it with the eraser tool. Bring the hardness up a little bit. So we got some problems right here. There, that looks good. Now, if, it, if you have too much of a hard time, don't be afraid to zoom in. But when you see the pixels, you might be being a little bit of a perfectionist, but that's okay. That looks good. Now, I'll go ahead and soften up the rest of it. We see eraser tool really helps blend what you're trying to do. Now, I'll go ahead and zoom out, bring everything back by poking the eye again. I don't need that. In fact, I don't need that bird altogether. So let's go ahead and delete that. All right, so the bird's lined up not real nice. Got black feathers going into black fur. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this real nice and easy. And to do that, I'm gonna use the eraser tool. I'm gonna reshape the brush. I'm going to bring down the hardness all the way and bump up the size and I'm just going to hit the perimeter. Whoops, I am in the wrong layer so I get in the right layer. I'm just gonna hit the perimeter of my selection. <coughs> you could also, of course, Command Z if you mess something up. All right, that looks pretty good. Now this is gonna be kind of a problem, but let's see what I can do. Click, 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 click. I'm going to have to adjust the hardness and the size. Let's see what this will do. That looks pretty good. I'll go back, reform my brush, bring down the hardness all the way again, bump up the size. And now what I want to do is I want to delete more of the bird but I don't want to delete that much so up here with opacity which is transparency I'm gonna bring the opacity which is opaque you can't see it all the way 100% I'm gonna bring that down to let's say 50% and then I'm just gonna click 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 let's see 50 doesn't matter click so it only erases halfway it's pretty good all right, cool. Now, we need to get rid of these dog ears. We're gonna address the clone stamp in the next part of this tutorial, but I'm gonna show you right now. So I go into the layer that I want to sample from. Now, here's how the clone stamp works. I go ahead and choose a size brush. I'll make it all the way, 0% hardness. And I'm going to sample a part of the picture by holding down the Command key. You can see how And I'm going to hit the Option key to make a selection. You can see how the cursor changes whenever I do that. So whenever I hold it down, I click, click, and then I just sampled something. And then I'll just go ahead and it'll just propagate whatever I sampled. It'll do the whole picture if you keep going. Okay? So you want to do a piecemeal. I'll hold down Option. I'll take this part right here just like I did before. And since it's blurry, that kind of helps. So I'll click, click, click. Gives you a little preview. That looks pretty good. Can't even tell. Now another thing I'm gonna go over in this tutorial is some color correction. There's different ways to do this, but I'll go ahead and try this one out right now, okay? I'm going to be in the bird layer because it's a little bit too black. And the fur on the dog has kind of a blue sheen to it. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. And I'll click the check in Colorize. Now already that defaults to red. I'm going to go to kind of a bluish. <coughs> it's a little bit too blue. So maybe I'll bring down the saturation a little bit so it can match. I'll also bump up the lightness. Now that matches really well. And there's your animal hybrid, Dunsky.